this is tropical milkweed um, and you can identify it by its really long narrow leaves um, they do have an opposite arrangement as well they only grow to about two to four feet tall they are not native to um, south florida so this particular species of milkweed is actually native to Central America and Mexico, um, but it does do very well in a tropical climate like Southeast Florida. Um, it is a sun-loving plant, so full sun, it will do very well. Um, and it is a weed, so it will grow very well in your garden. The flowers of the tropical milkweed are going to be like a tubular shape and be red, orange, or yellow. And those colors are definitely very attractive to butterflies as well as some birds. Um, its tubular shape is very good for hummingbirds in particular. Um, but the whole plant itself is known to have toxic properties. So in large quantities, a person would not want to eat this. Um, so the animals that consume the milkweed can actually um, process those toxins and hold on to them safely as their defense mechanisms in their body to protect them from predators. So they have adapted to handle the toxicity of the milkweed plant. Tropical milkweed um, is a very popular plant for monarch butterflies. Um, so it's actually the host plant for uh, monarch butterflies as well as the queen and soldier butterflies. Um, so as a host plant, what that means is that the butterflies are going to lay their eggs on this plant and the caterpillars will hatch and ferociously start eating the leaves. So it's not uncommon to have milkweed really torn up in your yard uh, as far as the leaves because they really do love the taste and prefer it. Um, I think the leaves probably just taste better but also tropical milkweed is known to have some healing properties as far as um, defense against um, parasites. The most recent research has shown that monarchs do prefer it because it does have that um, medicinal uh, benefit to them as far as fighting against parasites that monarch butterflies will um, contract on milkweed plants. Um, it does have them, but it is able to uh, de have a, a stronger defense against them compared to other milkweeds. So um, you will definitely find this plant um, in a lot of local plant nurseries, and you can definitely plant it in your yard. And it's been around over 200 years. So even though it's not native to Florida, it has adapted to South Florida. And most recent has shown that it is safe to have in your yard. Mm -hmm.